So today is finally the day we are heading to Ireland in search of a Connemara youngster to produce as my project pony. I have saved up so much money over the last couple of months and I'm paying for it all myself. So I'm really excited to go and have a look what's out there. We have quite a few ponies lined up. I think there's 18 ponies from 10 different breeders. So it's gonna be a busy, busy few days, but we are currently heading to the airport. Uh, I've just got out of school and then we're gonna to fly to Ireland. It's only about an hour and a half flight. And when we get there, we're gonna find a hotel, settle down for the night to get ready for the 7.30, I think, a.m. viewing on Saturday tomorrow. But yeah, I am so excited. This is something I've always wanted to do and I can't believe it is finally happening. I guess I'll catch up with you guys before we're about to board our flight or maybe even when we're in Ireland. <laughs> Travelling lightly, my hand luggage is my hat bag because <laughs> we can have fit it in the suitcase. And my suitcase is just full of my body protector and I'm wearing my boots and that's literally all I have. We're currently sitting in Costa. <laughs> um, can't see up there. You can see our flight and about to board in about three quarters of an hour. Having my smoothie. <laughs> Very excited. I can't believe this is actually happening. This is so exciting. We're about to board. <laughs> That's our plane. is incredibly embarrassing vlogging on a plane but here we are about to take off now <laughs> got my mento spearmint because you know my ears are gonna pop and it's gonna <coughs> be annoying so just a good excuse to eat mint because I love mint we're very excited I actually can't believe this is happening Just arrived at our hotel for the night. It's really nice and I got my own bed. Now we're gonna go across the street and get some food because I'm really hungry, um, as always. And then we're gonna get a good night's sleep, ready for a 7 a.m. start tomorrow. I think it's just about sinking in now that we are actually in Ireland and this is actually happening. How? It is currently 7 a.m. on Saturday. Saturday. And we are about to leave for the first stud. We're seeing two ponies there. They're both really nice and I'm really looking forward to seeing them and also meeting the owners of the stud farm. So I can't wait, let's go. Okay, so we had a bit of a problem. Basically the warning light came on that we needed to like change the tire pressure. So we're currently at the service area trying to do that. Luckily we were a little bit early, so hopefully we'll still get there at like a good time. We don't want to be late obviously, but I'm gonna make sure we're safe and the tire is not gonna blow up or get a puncture or like anything like that so i think mum's done it now so fingers crossed that'll work it's a bit dark <laughs> it's a bit dark and this time back in england i'd be on the well, if it was in the weekdays i'd be getting on the bus and that would be light i guess there's a slight time difference but only very slight yeah. and it's very misty
to our second pony now. The first one was lovely. We're going to look at others as well, obviously. We're not going to Ireland because it's view one. So now we're heading to Smith, I think you say, or Smith. I'm not really sure how you say it. Breaking and schooling. We're seeing one pony there. Um, so we're just about five minutes away now. And then after that, I think we're going to stop for some lunch. And then we're going to go see three more after lunch. Luckily, the last person had a indoor school, which means we can ride even when it's dark, which was really helpful. But really looking forward to doing lots more ponies. Second pony is done. She was so lovely. We really, really liked her. Um, and now we are eating really healthy. We're eating Burger King. We have. I've got the like chicken crunch. I don't really know what it is. I've literally never had. It. I've had Burger King like twice before. So this is an experience. And now we're heading into Northern Ireland to see. I think we're seeing three in Northern Ireland. We're seeing one like just on the outskirts and then one in Belfast and then one next to a big lake. Obviously I'm really good at geography. And then we've got a long three hour drive to Galway, which is only actually halfway we're actually going because we don't want to make poor mum over there go the entire route <laughs> without a break. And we'll drive the rest of the hour tomorrow. We're seeing five tomorrow around about Galway. So that's going to be great as well. I'll see you guys in a bit once I have seen this third pony. Could it really get any more Irish? Definitely had a spark, but I liked that about her. Yeah, I really liked her. On to the next one. <laughs> lovely and was like an old soul in a little youngster's body she was so mature and balanced for her age it was really pretty incredible and she was she was really lovely and now we're on our way to see the last one and that is just at like the top of northern ireland i think and then we start the long drive down to galway um, and we're gonna stop and have some food and rest up for another busy day tomorrow so i will catch up with you guys after we have seen the last pony
engines coming up because the one that we just saw was also amazing. It was a rising four-year-old gelding. Um, absolutely lovely, so balanced and just a genuine, really sweet pony that's very talented as well and I really liked it as well. I, what am I going to do? This is going to be impossible. Can I just take them all home, Mum? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of the first day. We're currently travelling to the hotel. We've got another hour and 49 minutes to go. We've already been travelling for about an hour and a half. When we get there, we'll sleep. Then we've got the just 6 a.m. start tomorrow. And a full day of pony viewing tomorrow as well. I'm going to be shattered for school on Monday, but it is totally worth it. This has been amazing. I'll see you guys when I get to the hotel. It's half 10 and we have arrived at the hotel. Very tired and cannot wait to get to bed. I will see you guys in the morning ready for day two. I need to sleep for a week already. Day two, let's go. Uh, we're on our way to the first one. I think we're seeing four breeders today and eight ponies. So, on our way to the first one, which is in Galway, an hour's drive. It's only just turned seven, so we're gonna get there by eight. We've just been to see Kevin Riley, and hands down, we can say, what a nice guy. He's such a lovely pony, and he's so honest, and he's got such a good reputation as well. He's good, very recommend him. Now we're on to the next one. We are going literally 20 minutes down the road to the next one. We're a bit early, so we're gonna stop and get a coffee before heading on to the next one and then I think after this one we've got one more maybe two more and then we head back home and I have to come to a decision we're on our way to our final pony now and then we are heading back to the airport the pony you just saw, we saw a couple and they were really nice. Um, it was just the last one now and then not sure how I'm going to choose. This one we're going to go see now is a Dun Mare. At the moment we're in County Tipperary and just passing through there. And we've just been all around Galway and we're, our final stop is in County Laos. Look at the view. And then it's straight back to Dublin Airport. We've just been doing some calculations and we figured out that we have traveled over 1,000 kilometers, which is about 650 miles. How? Is, that's ridiculous. Poor mum. So as you can imagine, poor mum is very tired and I am tired, but it's been so much fun like riding with these ponies and kind of seeing the difference that these Connemaras can be because Obviously we have Prince at home, who's quite a performance Connemara. Made us think that maybe Prince isn't actually Connie, even though we know he is, because it's breeding is. But it's crazy, because you've got like the showing Connies, which are quite chunky, and they have like big crests, and are a lot stockier. And then you've got the performance Connies, which are more athletic, they're skinnier, finer, and bred for more competitions and jumping. It's really interesting, it's been an absolutely amazing experience, and so lucky to be able to do it. So thank you, Mum. Subject to vetting, we have a new pony and it is the one we saw last night. The last one we saw yesterday, Johnny. He's a 14-2, he's gonna make 14-2. Rising four, grey. Who knew? I wonder, such a surprise. Okay, really? Of course, but he has black legs and a black mane and tail, which means he's technically as a pure grey. Yeah. <laughs> he probably will be though. Um, gelding and I am so excited he was he was everything and more that we were looking for and I can't actually believe that this is happening fingers crossed for the vetting fingers fingers crossed I think it's happening tomorrow or very quickly ah, and I, I can't I can't believe this is happening ah. <laughs> that was last on Friday 
heading to the service station now to get some food somewhere. We are very hungry and I'm very tired, but very, very happy. We're currently at TGI Fridays and stuffing ourselves full of food to make up for two days of even worse food. So <laughs> I had a burger and it counts as um, something healthy because it had tomato. Some tomato in it. I want to have potatoes and tomato ketchup, which is two of my five a day in one. <laughs> and now we're about to head to the airport and go home. We brought a pony. <laughs> Just arrived at the airport and now we're going to go and relax a little bit. We're just about to board the plane now and then we're going to go home. Can't wait to sleep. I'll do a catch up with you when I actually get on the plane. We've just got on the plane and I have to say mission accomplished. We are getting the pony vetted tomorrow so fingers crossed that I will I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow then. This is going to be my last update then before tomorrow. Also, who likes the fashion of my hair? <laughs> Looking really good. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when I know whether or not the pony has passed. I'm so scared. I really hope. I really, really, really hope. Fingers crossed. We've all got our fingers crossed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. What a hectic weekend. But we really could not have come back with a better pony. As long as it passes, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my god, you guys, he passed! I have a new pony. We put the deposit down. I sent over all my money. I now have nilt nothing in my bank account. Oh, I actually can't believe this. This. <laughs> I can't. So he comes on Tuesday. We just arrange transport and everything. Oh my god, I can't wait. This is. I can't believe this is happening. I have a new pony. A post will be coming soon about welcoming Johnny to the family. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of speechless. <sighs> Basically, mum messaged me and I like freaked out and I was like, oh my god, and oh my god. It's the most stressful few days ever, <sighs> but completely worth it. I am so excited. But, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for a uh, welcome Johnny video soon. Oh my god, uh I can't believe it. Oh, the rabbits of my heart.